don't you start? Hey everybody, it's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. <clears throat> Sunday morning, that means it's time for the Silky Smooth Sunday Shave. A little bit of a different angle today because I did a little work on the den this weekend and I wanted to show you guys the results. I'm not doing a den tour. I have too much stuff for that. It would take a whole series of videos. But anyway, like I said, did a little upgrade on the den and uh, let's take a peek and see what we got. So the first thing I did was I finally got around to hanging up those blueprint photos or blueprint um, prints that I got a while back from my sweet lady. Um, got some nice frames, got them mounted and hung. They look pretty good. I'm very happy with those. It was such a great gift. Um, decided to go ahead and move my straps to the exterior of the closet because I did this. Organized up my soaps just a bit. Um, it was really a mess in there. As you can see, this top shelf is still not quite the greatest, but just imagine all of the soaps that are hanging in the door on that top shelf. Just, it was a mess. I couldn't find anything. I never could figure out what soap I was going to use. So this, uh, over the door, um, cabinet hanger shelf job, uh, really makes it look nice in there. Just kind of a mess in there right now still with the razor where the razors are and the uh, creams and aftershaves. But anyway, that's the new den. Um, I wish there was a better way or a better place on my bathroom so that I could hang those photos so you could see them in the video, but just not in the cards. Anyway, I don't know. I was proud of it. I, I like the way it looks. I'm very happy with it. So let's get on to the shave. All right, hey everybody. It's time for the shave. Hope you enjoyed the uh, den update. Not much to it, but I was pretty happy with the way it all turned out. So I wanted to show you guys and gals out there a little bit of my new den, even though it's been like, I don't know, six, eight months since I've been here. Has it been that long? Wow, it has been. <laughs> anyway, all right, well, let's get shaving. What are we using? Something different today. I had to, I had to take a break from the Little Tim's. So um, we are using today a little bit of the CO Bigelow mentholated cream or Parasso Green, if you will. Um, allergy, cold, sinus stuff, just been bugging me. So I'm hoping the menthol will help. So I got a little bit in the salsa dish. We're gonna get that whipped up. <clears throat> we'll be using the uh, Vanderboss brush. And for the shaver, something I haven't used in a while, um, but I figured I'd bust it out, see how it goes. CJB Commissori, got a uh, Feather Professional blade in there. And then for the post, be using a little bit of Hega and the Omega Alum. So anyway, let's get going. Yeah, um, it's been a good, been a, a good week. Stressful week, a little bit of a sad week. Um, so it's been kind of everywhere. This allergy, whatever this nonsense is, I ended up having to go to the doctor for it because of course with my job, <clears throat> I was always, there's always a little bit of a concern about the, the Rona, even though none of the symptoms were consistent. Earache, sore throat, um, sinus pressure, congestion, blah, blah, blah. And it just wasn't getting any better. It had been going on for about a week or so. Went to the doc. Um, Diagnosed me with laryngopharyngitis, bacterial infection, gave me some antibiotics, and uh, also gave me a coronavirus test just for good measure. I'm waiting on the results for that. <clears throat> but he seemed pretty confident that this is not that. Um, so, just like I said, waiting for those results, or not results, but waiting for the antibiotics to kick in. I had my third dose today, and I'm not really feeling much better, so... A little down in the mouth about it. Um, hopefully they will kick in and things will get on the upswing. If not, I'll be going back to the doctor and we'll try something different. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> quick bowl lather. You guys know I'm not a, a great bowl lather, -er -er -er, but this will get the job done and we'll finish whipping it up on the face anyway. What else? So that's the, the update on the illness, which is a pain in my butt so far, or a pain in my nose, I should say. 
Um, also with the allergies, I mean, there's tropical storms coming in that are wreaking havoc with the weather and kicking up a bunch of stuff. So it could just be a really gnarly allergy attack. I don't know. Either way, it's been dumb. Uh, what else? So, um, work's been work. Fingers crossed things are <clears throat> on the testing front, things are starting to slow down just a touch, so hopefully that's a good sign. We'll see what next week has to offer. I didn't spend a single day in PPE last week. Well, I take that back Monday. I had a very short stay in PPE on Monday. <clears throat> Ended up having to go in on my day off to swab a couple of folks. No big deal. Very easy. What else? Well, speaking of work, we had a, uh, unfortunately, this has been the sad part of the week. Tuesday morning, I learned that a coworker of mine had passed away. I wasn't, I'm not going to lie and say that I was super chums with this lady. We knew each other and we were friendly. Um, I think we would have considered each other friends, but we weren't very close. That doesn't really matter. It's still somebody I knew. I knew her husband as well. He was somebody I would consider a friend, even though over the years we had not been very close just because our schedules were very different. But at one point I worked with him in a station. He was my supervisor. And uh, anyway, his wife passed away on Tuesday. She's very sad and unexpected. So the department, myself, my coworkers, have been dealing with the grief for a week. Um, Friday afternoon was the viewing, and we went to that. Beautiful uh, viewing ceremony, full honor guard, dress uniforms, casket watch, the whole thing. And then yesterday was the funeral, which I did not attend. But the venue or church that hosted it had a live stream capability. So they live streamed it for us, for the people who chose not to go. And, uh, the work wife and I got together and watched the funeral to <clears throat> say goodbye to our friend and coworker. Um, so yeah, that was the sadness over the weekend during the week. But <sighs> we will persevere, right? Sorry to start on such a somber note, but. You guys know I talk about what's on my mind, and that's been on my mind. Um, so yeah. I thought I considered doing the silent shave for her, but I figured it would be not a loss or lost on you guys, but since not part of the community, I don't think it would make or have had quite the impact. I may be wrong, and I can still do one to honor her. I'm undecided, but the hair always grows, right?
what this menthol is doing the trick. Making me feel nice and opened up. Cool, refreshed. It also helps because it's been as hot as I'll get out here in Central Texas. Nice and humid with the tropical storms activity in the Gulf. And, uh, you know, it's generally hot in Texas. I think we've been in the upper 90s, low 100s the past few days. So definitely the menthol is a nice touch. Beautiful. First pass. CJB never fails to disappoint. The feather's professional. <coughs> Work like a champ as always. Grab up a little bit more lather. Uh, it's always more mentally on the second run. I didn't mention how many days growth I had because I don't remember. Probably close to four, I think. Maybe three. I don't know. I stopped counting. In today's society at work, you know, I used to always say I had to shave because work. <coughs> Since we pretty much wear a mask all day at work now, unless you're in your office by yourself, I get away with not shaving quite as much as I should. The bosses don't see it. Anyway, pass number two. What else? Had a nice ruck yesterday morning. Five miles. The patch was a challenge. Wants to add more weight to the rut every mile. And then do, they're called tiger crawls. Well, they call them tiger crawls, but they're essentially bear crawls. So you get like on your hands and your feet and you crawl like a bear. I don't know if there's another word term for those, but that's what we've always called them, bear crawls. But these are tiger crawls because the weight is hanging on the front. And that was the theme of the, um, the theme of the patch was the tiger challenge. Tiger Crawl Challenge or Tiger Rug Challenge or something like that. So anyway, that was it. So every mile, you add more weight. And then you do 30 seconds of Tiger Crawls with the new weights. I did it. It was a hassle. Um, I was not happy with the ruck. Not because it was particularly difficult. It was not easy. I started with 20 pounds and I ended with 40 pounds. I went up in five pound increments for every, every mile. Plus the weight of my water, which I didn't count because that decreases as the rut goes on. Uh, What was difficult was every mile having to stop and add weight and do the tiger crawls and I trying to make things a little more challenging. Because I'm a glutton for punishment, staged all my weights. right outside my apartment, which is a third floor apartment. So I had to come up stairs every time to add weight and do the tiger crawls. So added a little challenge, but what really just was frustrating was that taking the, the pack, you know, taking the ruck off, adding the weight, putting it on the front, which is not easy to do, then trying to crawl with it, you know, strapped across your chest and it would always just slide off 
and then you end up dragging it and having to stop and stand up and put it back on. It was a hassle. Um, did not make me <laughs> happy. I ended up tearing a shirt. I lost the headlight. Um, yeah, it was that part of it was frustrating, but it was good to get it done. I felt good. The exercise, the work felt good. It was friggin' hot. I started at around 6.45 in the morning and we were close to 80 degrees and I was, I think we were close. It took me almost two hours to finish and uh, we were close to 90 degrees by the time I finished. It was a hot, muggy ruck. Truly worth it though. And then of course, because it's the weekend and I can't control my mouth on the weekend, I ate kind of crappy yesterday. The Burger King... Oh, I just cut the snot out of myself. Mm, I felt that one. I was thinking about that Burger King. Ooh, that's a bad one too. Nice, we have a nice cut. I could see the mask will cover that. Ooh, I dug in with the whole blade. That is not good. All right. Look at that. Yeah, that's stupid. Tell you what, guys, because that's going to take a little bit of work to get sorted out. I'm going to stop now, uh, end this shave, and uh, yeah, doesn't happen very often, but that's a that's a legit cut. Let me get the boo boo juice. Uh, it has been a while since I did something like that. What it was is I was talking and I came in at the wrong angle. Just laid it right down. Let me rinse off, we'll get that sorted out and I'm gonna end the shave. Oh yeah, that's gonna be stupid. Stupid, stupid, Kiffer, stupid. Oh well, good thing chicks dig scars, right? Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Man, that sucked. That's gonna continue to suck too. Let's see if we can get that stopped. Hopefully, that won't be something that reopens too much. I guess if I stop tugging on it, it might actually get a chance to seal. Oh yeah, that's a legit cut too. Gosh, I feel dumb. Alright, well I think that's going to be sorted out for now. I'll keep fighting with that. Thank you again so much for watching. Hate to cut it short, but I am... Yeah, that's dumb. I had to sort that out. Anyway, appreciate your time. Appreciate your support. Um, thanks for everything. I hope you have a great week. I hope the upcoming week treats you well. I hope the rest of your weekend is restful and peaceful. Um, no matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family. Um, these strange days, make sure it's six feet apart. Always wear your mask because um, as much of a pain in the ass it is, it does make a difference. And I will see you next time. Hope you have a great week. Once again, thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. Uh, goodbye and God bless. Till next time. Have a good one.